my people, how na de? This video where I want to make so for the past two days, I've been trying to look for an appropriate title to give them. I no see. I don't look look look. So I will want my subscriber to please in the comment section make una title this video i get various topic we i want to but this one now something special i say no i say i go do them today the title we have been to give this video first of all i be one see title them um, overtake door overtake 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 door overtake overtake that's one the second one, I be one column, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The good, the bad, and the ugly. The fourth one, the third one, history has a way of repeating itself. Then the fourth one, it is in the DNA of some people to betray their fellow brothers. I also want Tatu and the great betrayer of the 21st century. Another title we have been one give now, another betrayer. You know, when I go the one that say, ah, which guy video? This man one makes a way he can to give him all this title. Now what thing happen or what thing transpire between our Opa of Benin, Ay the second. Opa talk be he said, and our honourable governor. Godwin Obaseki and the federal government of Nigeria. I don't even make two videos on the effects. Say the Bini artifacts where Jama say they want return. This one the artifacts where they carry from Bini Empire or the steel from Bini Empire around over a hundred years ago. So the German people, in fact, Oba Akenzwa have been battling to make sure say those activists come back. And subsequently, any monarch, any king will come, still they pursue this agenda to get those ancestral things back. So finally, Germans come accept, say yes, they go bring them back, and they come put big money, Jonah. So they want to return them back to where they collect them from. Make Una no forget the lion's share of all these artifacts. Now, English people, now in Karyambo, and they never even talk about it. They do like say they know here when European Union they talk about returning all these things back. United Kingdom do like say they know here, and now they thief the lion's share. I want to say that 80% of the Bini artifacts now British Britain now still am. You understand? Now other countries come they buy from their hands. Other countries will get the collection, they buy from their hand. So Britain never took anything. Which means it is not in their intention to bring them back. 
Anyway, we go the pursue them. Small, small. Then two France. Say uh, because France took from the French speaking countries in Africa. So France say uh, not true, yes, they collect from Africa, but they believe say that they go fit keeper pass us. Now then go fit keep them in a safe place, pass us. Till when you thief from person, you they tell us say now nah, you go fit keep them pass. Anyway, we don't want to talk about France here. Yeah? So we want to talk about waiting happen. We all know. So the Benin people come cry out, say, Obaseki, return our artifacts. Because waiting or governor be one do na to carry federal government go there, they go collect them. Like waiting, I talk in my last video. He said federal government go get 30% of the artwork. State, that is him, go get 30%. Then he gave them to some trust fund. We go help and finance, do the marketing, publicity, and all the other things. Those ones will get another 30%. It can't remain 10. Who can get that 10? I don't know. They don't talk who can get that 10. Anyway, so. Waiting we hear say, when Obaseki can't go, federal government say, make the go. Germany go collect all those things. Now federal government go ask and say this artwork we want collect. Now Bini Empire own Bini Kingdom own. Why be say a representative of the Bini no day? So now the federal government get in touch with the palace. Say quick, 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 quick. They need to get a representative. As they, they go, so the palace could not come together and hold a meeting to pick. Normally, in such a case, that they pick two or three able body chiefs that know a lot about those our culture, the artwork, and all those stuff. So, because of the rush, the palace quickly. Send the the priest. That's the king in making. So that one can go represent the palace. I want to say something about this artifacts of a thing. A lot of people they ask me say, if why you say this thing as spiritual? This is what I want clear about this artifacts we will they talk. I go group them into three categories. Eh? It is true, so all of them are artwork. Na masterpiece of art. Fine. But there are some that is more or less like a documentary. It like when you they write story. Because that time, all this to the feed they keep book. Write book and keep it never they existed then. So now those image was like a documentary. The history that will carve the person, maybe India, near Sige, which of course is like the first act mark, will tell you about a woman that was so brave that she had to lead men to battle. So they will make an image then put her in a war situation like scene so that's like a documentary that this was a woman that was going to battle so some of all these artifacts are like documentary or history then the second set of these artifacts are like they are juju you understand they are like a little bit like, like, I don't know, in every Benin family, 
there is what we call Ohure. It's something like that. It's it's an art work. You know? So all of them is not this type of Ohure, but it's an artwork that the people now invoke spirits in them and begin to worship them. That's why I said some of this artwork are spiritual. So I know some people don't say, eh, we be Christian. Yeah, now a lot of people in Benin are Christians now. But that time, we were not. We had our culture and we believed so much in there. And it's a saying that now what do you believe in? Now you they get faith in. So that is the second type. And then the third type, now those at work, purely at work, they not get underlining meaning in, in, into them. That is why we were screaming that it has to come back to the palace because of the the first two sets. Those ones will be like juju, will be like spiritual. This thing will palace. The this is not beneath uh, as I say. Oh, we are traditional people so we get all those strands and all those things we would serve and then they cover masterpiece of artwork you know i remember when i was small those days in my village some people we are going to this strand to steal and send them to white men you understand there was a particular guy that went to a village strive stole it sold it the guy was pregnant he was pregnant so they did x-ray for him nothing until finally they had to go to a traditional place where they found that what you took is the reason why your tummy are swollen you understand so there's power in those things so, like we were saying, the priest, who is the heir apparent to the Benidro, now went as a representative of the palace. So now, why I say overtake, don't overtake, overtake. Now, waiting happen. The federal government now came out and changed the plan of a basic. The federal government came out, like Mohammed said, the federal government is going to take possession of it. Why? Because it looks as if they are trying to not let this, this reef de de develop into something big. But me, I will indulge the palace if after a week Lai Mohammed did not say anything, the palace should sue the federal government to court because those property are theirs. They should sue them to, to court and let them know the Bini traditional council is interested in having them back. So that is how overtake, come overtake, overtake. Obaseki wanted to be the sole organizer of this artwork. But unfortunately, the thing does come off from his hand. So overtake, do overtake, overtake. And this is one of the reasons why we, the Benins, we know they go front. Imagine because of this, I would say sh sh shuffle, where Obaseki can begin to drag this thing. That was what prompted the federal government to come in. You understand? And now, because of the Obaseki 
ways of going about this artwork, I pray it comes back to the palace where it rightly belongs. But for now, it's not in the hands of the palace and it's not in the hands of Obaseki or the state because of our greediness, our selfishness, which is not beyond. So, my brother, this is a lesson that we should learn. That sometimes the people you depend on, they are all there to steal from you. That is why it's very important that you should trust no man. Just be independent. Be yourself. Don't depend on nobody. That way, you will not be betrayed. Thank you very much. If you like this video, say like. Why well, would we'll ask you if you're coming in touch with this video for the first time and you like what we are doing, subscribe to our channel. Remember again, this is Ephraim Nauna in Mafide Indizuge TV. We are global and social commentator. So thanks. Eh? And as we used to say in this channel, stay safe and stay blessed. We'll catch you when we make the next video. Bye-bye.